On the fifth issue of the Italian magazine Zodiac, Enzo Fratelli wrote Sobriety, a characteristic often mentioned in speaking of Danish furniture, evidently makes up part of the mental and visual order of the Danes as they give form to their home requirements. This order is to be seen in a rarefaction of their furniture in space and in a simplicity of construction in which beauty results from attention to detail and perfection of finish. This taste was so deeply rooted as to become characterized in a stylistic tendency in the interior decorating, a profession dominated by Finn Yule, one of that between the worst generation which gave form to the cultural currents and architectonic achievements of Denmark since the last war. Finn Yule is an architect and designer who has also set up exhibitions and decorated the interiors of ships and airplanes. In the creation of his furniture, he has demonstrated the persuasive power of his forms and constructive solutions and made a signal contribution to the line of Danish production today. It is in the value of the relationship which Yule's furniture strikes with its environment that we find the key to the designer's architecture of interiors, with an increase in density of plastic change in his furniture offset by a rarefaction in space, this giving rise to a perceptible aesthetic tension of single pieces in their surrounding space. Evidently, in Yule's vision, furniture and environment coexist under a kind of complementary law. His opera prima, The Chair, in its different versions, undoubtedly demonstrates a remarkable structural solution in separating the supporting trestle from the seat and back. These elements are curved in conformity with the human body and taken to be suspended thanks to the connections and fixed joints which are hidden from view. In this clever solution, two important factors play a part. 1. The concept according to which the wood is treated, the wood being articulated in space with the technique of wood sculpture, in a continuity which profits from the perfect invisibility of the joining. 2. The material generally used, thick, a Danish national resource in interior decorating, owing to preferential importation and also to a special steel which makes it possible to work such a hard material. This remarkable feature obtained from wood gives the designer the opportunity to use at the same level of experiment as other designers working with more advanced materials, a traditional material conveying a psychological warmth. In working over the elements of his chairs, Yule gives both the subtlety allowed by the considerable supporting strength of thick and a tactile sensuousness which, while not unaware of the contributions of abstract sculpture, is coherently linked to the turned moldings of country equipment and home utensils carried to a high level of refinement in modeling. An anti-mechanical mental attitude, a concept of design based on natural materials and production methods which, however industrialized, retain the artisan's touch of a hand-worked product. These are premises, perceptible in Finn Yule, of a work tendency which might be considered the antithesis of analogous American design.